and I'm gonna mute y'all. Hello, hello, hello. How is everyone as I'm muting you? Uh, say how you are before I mute you. I see Carrie already muted herself. Nobody's talking. <laughs> Okay. All right. Sorry about that, guys. And I'm going to pin my video here. All right. So uh, welcome to the almost third week in April. And guys, it was snowing today. What is happening? What is seriously happening? Um, we're not going to focus on that because I have like a lot of cool stuff to cover tonight. And I know I always say it's like really exciting. This webinar is going to be the best, but tonight might be like the best webinar that we've done in a really long time because one, I have an awesome new idea for you guys to get new leads. Uh, two, I have great customer ideas. And three, I have the brand new miracle set that I'm going to show you guys. Um, like I'm going to introduce it to you because I have met it and now I'm going to introduce it to you and y'all can order it on May 12th. So that's the date you want to be writing down. Um, but okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to get started. So first thing that we always do is we congratulate our social media princess of the week. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to share my screen. I see we've got somebody else on here. I see Sarah Dean. Hello, girl. Okay. So I'm going to share my screen and we're going to see who our social media princess is of the week. And it is actually Renee Richardson. So way to go, Renee. Um, I don't see her on here right now. She usually watches the recording. I think sometimes she's working. Um, but the reason that you guys know, like my number one favorite thing that you guys share on social media is somebody else posting in your group about our products or pictures of themselves. So I know these are, uh, these are Renee's, I almost said Stephanie because I saw Stephanie in here. I know these are Renee's sisters, but I love this. So y'all, if you have a sister or a mom, they count for this. Okay. This is a big deal. When somebody else posts on your, in your group or on your page. Okay. So she just said, cheers to Mary Kay. And I'm going to have to ask Renee if she did this herself because it's super cute. Um, and then her other sister, Michelle, I loved this, did a before and after. So before, during, and after um, doing the Mary Kay, I think she said dash out the door look, which is super, super cute. Um, another picture of Michelle doing the charcoal mask. So love that. I love a charcoal mask. It makes such a statement on, um, on social media. And then just placing an order on Friday. If anyone wants something, let me know. Always smart just to kind of throw that out there. And Renee's... Um, her profile picture right now is like gorge. So I don't know why that, that just happened really weird. Like, Oh, probably because I'm already on her page. And then I clicked her picture. Um, but at any rate, Renee's picture is like gorgeous on there, her profile picture. So, okay. So way to go, Renee, keep up the awesome work. And Renee also had a party this last week. So way to go with that girl. Um, she did and so did Carrie. So awesome job, um, Renee and Carrie for getting out there, doing your business, getting some parties going. I've got two parties this month, so I'm pumped about them. And we're really trying to build momentum going into the end of the seminar year. So June 30th is the end of Mary Kay's seminar year. So it's a really big deal. Um, and our, our goal as a unit is to bring in the most unit members for the year between now and career conference next year. So, um, way to go Marissa Foster for bringing in a new consultant this last, actually, I wouldn't say this last week as of yesterday. So Jen Asel, I think I'm saying her last name correctly, um, is new this week. So congrats, Marissa. And Marissa just said, she said to me one day, you know what, Leslie, I think I want to start building a team. And I said, Okay. And this was probably about two months ago and she's brought in two girls since then. And really, you know, and I'm not going to say these are your stats, but she's only done, I want to say two or three career surveys, but she's been thinking about it. And so what you think about, you bring about. So as she's thinking about it, she's like new girls are coming in, which is like, so super cool. Um, okay. But I'm getting off on a tangent. So let's go through, I want you guys to grab a piece of paper. Okay. So if you're on tonight or if you're watching the recording, grab just a normal sized piece of paper because I'm going to do some training tonight on Facebook. Okay. And I know you might be like, okay, Leslie, how are you going to find me new leads? So the number one complaint I hear from consultants, new old seasoned, whatever, um, that have been in the business is I want new people to work with, or I, I'm not sure who to work with now. I've kind of gone through my friends and family and I'm kind of stuck. So 
And that, that's not a bad thing. That's just, a, okay, let's open up our mind to see who we can figure out to work with. And when you ask a question, your brain goes to work to answer it because your brain is not like an unanswered question. So this last, like, I want to say within the last two months, I've had a few girls in my unit that have been kind of coming to me with, Leslie, I don't know who to work with. Um, you know, either I've moved to the area recently and so I don't know a lot of people around here or, and I hear that a ton. I hear that so much. And you guys, I moved to Akron when I got married five years ago and I didn't know very many people here other than, you know, my husband's family and friends and they were not super into makeup or skincare. So I really had to branch out and start finding people. Um, and so I have actually a great new way. So, so I started asking the question, how can I find and give my consultants new leads to come up with, like new people to work with? And so my brain started going to work. And just this week, I saw Abby Jones, who's a sister sales director of mine, um, post about this. And this is like an Abby original um, idea. And it's so basic, but it's like brilliant. And it's so simple. Um, it's, it's something that's going to take some time and some consistency with, but it's very simple. And you don't even have to get out of your PJs to find new leads. So I love this. Okay, so I want you guys to grab that sheet of paper. Hopefully you have it right now. And I have a piece of paper here somewhere. Oh, there it is. I always sit things so they're like right in front of my eyes and it's almost like too simple and I think it's gonna be more difficult. So I want you at the top of this paper, I realize this is, I think this is backwards for you guys and that's okay. But I want you at the top of the paper to kind of divide your sheet into four different um, sections. So the first section, I want you to label it warm. Okay, so W A R M warm. And the second section I want you to label friends of friends. Okay. The third section I want you to label cold. And the fourth section I want you to label new. Okay. All right, so warm, friends of friends, cold, and new. And on the other side, this just happens to be the beauty coat that y'all can earn when you do 100 faces in 100 days, okay? And some of you guys are actually on target for this, which is really stinking impressive. I'm getting my butt in gear and trying to, to stay up to date. I think I have, I have my chart over there. I believe I have seven so far in for it. Um, and I should probably have about 30 in so far. So I'm a little behind, but I'm working on it. Okay, so let's go through some Facebook lead generating training right now, okay? And this is really exciting, you guys, because you can't run out of people this way. Like, you can't. It's not even possible. So whether you're huge into Facebook or not, um, I personally, I don't love Facebook. I'm not super involved with it um, on my personal page, but I use it a lot for business. I, I use it a lot to keep in contact with you guys um, and to keep in contact with my customers. So I actually just ran a sale. Um, I felt like my inventory was a little bit large. And so I just literally ran a sale just for my friends, customers, um, people that you know I know don't have another consultant. I ran a sale for them. It was like a really big sale and I did it all through Facebook. So I just like created albums. I sent out a bunch of text messages um, and I sold, I want to say about $1,200 in four days. So, um, and that was like very discounted product too, like 25 to 40% off. So, I mean, like regular price, I probably would have sold close to like $1,800. All right. So we've got our list here and this is what I want to talk to you guys about. So, um, so honestly, though, if you want disclaimer, if you guys are watching this right now and you're thinking like, I need more leads, don't complain to me in the next week, the next month, the next year that you're out of leads. So I'm going to say, you know that Facebook idea I told you about? Did you do that yet? I'm just going to ask you that, okay? Because this is really important and so helpful. All right, so we've got our four um, labels down. So the warm label, this is what your warm label means. So it's, and you can write this right below. It's friends, it's family. It's your customers, so people that you have met that buy from you already. Um, and you always, one little tip here, you always want to friend women after you leave a, a party, a facial. Like if you just met her, you immediately want to come home and friend her on Facebook or have your assistant friend her on Facebook. Really important, okay? Because it keeps you in front of her. And it, remem and it also reminds you, like I'm very visual, so when I friend her on Facebook and I see her periodically pop up, I'm like, oh yeah, I remember who that girl is now. Um, so when you're out meeting new customers all the time with your business, you're gonna forget who people are. Like when you're when it's just popping up and you're seeing a name, you're like, gosh, I don't remember who that girl is. But when you friend them on Facebook, you're gonna see them more often and they're gonna see you more often, which is really, really important. Okay, your second group of people is your friends of friends, okay? Now, these people have to be someone that your friends are friends with, obviously, and 
So one other thing that you have more than one mutual friend with. So let me show you guys an example of this. Um, let me share my screen here. I'm gonna go on my Facebook page. So hopefully there's nothing crazy on here. I'm sure there isn't. Okay, so I wanna find a friend. I'm just gonna to go to Patrice Root because she's one of my good friends. And, and look at this, I show up like on her, well you can't see me, but this is me right here. Um, on her, I can't even remember, think what that's called, cover photo. Okay, so when you look at this section right here, see friends says 64 mutual friends. So Patrice and I are pretty good friends and we have a lot of mutual friends, okay? So let's just say that I did not know Patrice. Um, she was a friend of one of my other friends. Um, she would be considered in this category because we have more than one mutual friend, Patrice and I, okay? We've got 64 mutual friends. So I know that we are actually friends. If you guys are not on Facebook very often, this little button right here is either going to have a check mark next to it for the fact that you are friends, or it's gonna have a plus sign next to it, meaning that you are not friends, but that you could be friends. So right now, if I search for, let's just look at recently added friends. Okay, I don't know this girl, Meredith Hamans, okay? And we only have one mutual friend, so she would not count for me because my only mutual friend is Patrice. I want, I want to have at least two mutual friends with Meredith Haymans if I'm going to do this, okay? So kind of keep that in mind. So good example in that if you want to add her, you got to add her. She's not already a friend, okay? I know that's really basic, but all right, so there we go. There you have it. So that's friends of friends. That's what that category means. You have more than one mutual friend in common with her. Okay, a cold, the cold group is going to be Friends that you used to be friends with, but you're not friends with on Facebook. So that would mean like, like women that you went to high school with or college with, but you haven't seen them in a long time. Maybe you haven't talked to them in a long time, or maybe people that you've been in groups with on Facebook. So like you've been invited to an event, they've been invited to an event. You don't know them and you might not have any mutual friends in common, but you might. Okay. So that's cold. All right, the new category stands for referrals, okay? So on the back of your profile cards, let's see if I can find a profile card here. Um, these are my manila folder, this is my manila folder system. So I always put profile cards in here. I always put, I think I picked up a bad one. All right, well, I'll just show you an example. So when you're at your appointments, parties, whatever, and you're, you're meeting with people, you want right here to play this referral game and you want these are the referrals I'm talking about. Okay, when you play that deserted island game or something like that, these are referrals. So search for them on Facebook. You may or may not find them, but if you find them, guess what? You're probably gonna have a mutual friend in common with them, the girl on the front of the profile card, okay? So those would be new people on Facebook. Um, also pre-profile. So when you guys are getting your list of girls to pre-profile, get their first and last names so you can friend them on Facebook. And then it's like, hey, like I'm the Mary Kay girl doing this party. It's come up that you're coming to. So that's another one. Okay, so I'm done explaining that right now. But let's go into what we're gonna do next, okay? So we're first off, we're gonna start in okay, hold on one second. I'm gonna share my screen one more time here. And I wanna show you guys something. So here's an example, okay? You wanna look through your own posts. And this is kinda of cool because yes, these people are probably friends with you, but they might be people that you have never reached out to about Mary Kay before, okay? So I wanna show this to you. So you can actually click on the people that like your posts, okay? And honestly, as I go down through this post, I may have facialed every single girl within this group or they might, you know, be a guy, it might be someone that I already know through Mary Kay who does Mary Kay. But I'm gonna look down through this list and see, is there anybody in this list of people that I have not facialed yet? So go down through all of your posts and see who's liked them. It's crazy once you have a kid, how many likes that you get on, on your kids' posts. So, um, so that's fun. Okay, here's another example of something that you can do. You can tag a friend of yours. So this would be great if this wasn't a bunch of Mary Kay people. But let's just say I posted a picture with Kelly Maruniak, who's this guy right here. And it, and it was just the two of us. And I said, having so much fun at this Mary Kay conference with Kelly. Okay, now Kelly lives in Columbus and she's in Mary Kay, so she does not count. But let's just say that Kelly was my, a friend of mine and I, I tagged her in this post. And so I would look at who liked this picture then and see if I have never facialed any of those girls. Again, if she's in Mary Kay, this doesn't count because you don't wanna be taking her customers and her people. Um, but I could look through and see who liked our post after I tagged her in it that I don't know and might not be friends with. 
All right, so here's the next step. I hope y'all are with me so far. Um, so here's the next step, okay? We're gonna see these people, we're gonna find friends of friends, we're gonna find people that are liking our stuff. For like for the first thing, if you if they have liked your stuff personally, you're friends with them. You don't need to friend them. You can reach out to them immediately and send them a script of some sort, which you can get from me. Okay, so when we're talking scripts, Leslie has scripts if you need one. Okay, and a script can mean anything from like, hey girl, we have this awesome new charcoal mask out. I'd love to get your opinion on it. To I'm in a contest right now to facial 30 women this month. Can I borrow your face? So we have tons of scripts. So don't feel like you have to come up with something on your own. I probably have a good idea for you. All right, so that's, that's one thing. The second thing is they're a friend of a friend, okay? But you have two, at least two mutual friends in common with them. So this is what I'm gonna have you guys do. All right, I'm gonna have you go in and I'm gonna have you add them as a friend. So we were just kind of talking about that. Um, and I showed you guys that one gal. All right, so I'm just gonna go in here and I'm gonna like, I just saw the name Kathleen. So Kathleen Gregory, I don't know, maybe I'm friends with her. I don't recognize the name. Okay, so let's just see here. I think she's a Mary Kay, which is kind of funny. We have four mutual friends, y'all. So like I can add her as a friend. I don't know her. I'm gonna add her as a friend just for the heck of it. She's a Mary Kay, so this isn't gonna work on her either. Um, I'm gonna send a friend request to her. And then as soon as I hear back, as soon as she accepts my friend request, it's going to show up in my messages that she accepted it, okay? So I actually just friended Jen Asel, who is our new unit member. So it's gonna show up like that. Now, as soon as I see that, I'm actually going to send Kathleen, if, if I were really doing this, I'm gonna send Kathleen a message, okay? And this is what it's going to say. So everybody write this down. It's gonna seem weird. And you guys, when I first heard Abby say this, I, was, I checked out. I was like, no, I'm not gonna do that. And then I was like, yes, I'm going to do that because it works for Abby, so it will work for me. And why would I not do this if it's working for her? So as soon as she accepts your friend request, okay, and you're going to get a notification about it, you're going to say this. You're going to say, hey, girl, I know this is so weird. Okay, so hey, girl, I know this is so weird, but Laura, or whoever you are mutual friends with that, you know, you know pretty well, has told me so much about you. So again, hey, girl, I know this is so weird, but Laura has told me so much about you. Hey girl, I know this is so weird, but Laura has told me so much about you, and I just thought we could be friends on Facebook. Ha ha. And I just thought we could be friends on Facebook. Ha ha. There you go. So you don't seem weird, whatever, you just threw out there. And Abby said when she says this, people are usually like, oh cool, hey, like hope you have a good day, whatever. You know, they'll, they'll actually respond back and, and say something silly to you. Okay, now once you friend them, and they've accepted your friend request and you sent this message out, start liking their stuff. Okay, so go on and purposefully start liking their stuff, not like in a creepy way, but maybe like like a post or two that they sent out this week and maybe next week like a post or two and maybe throw out a comment, like one or two comments. Don't be like a creepy stalker on Facebook though, okay? And give it some time. If you're like desperate right now and you need leads right now, just do it right away. It doesn't even matter. But give, I would give it like a week or two before I would reach out to her. And then after that, and you've kind of established like a little bit of a Facebook, you know, relationship, I would suggest that you message her with a script. So again, like something, something on the lines of like, Hey girl, like you're so cute. I know we don't really know each other. Um, we're just, you know, mutual friends with Laura, but I'm getting, I'm getting people to test out our new charcoal you know, new charcoal mask with my company. I would love for you to be a tester. Um, you know, you've got great skin. I would just love to get your opinion. So something like that. So, so this is like a great example. Okay. And Abby would say, you know, you're going to send it out and people are probably like not going to respond. So you're going to have to potentially get back to them again. The best thing about Facebook y'all is that it's so, um, it so doesn't matter. It's like, if they don't respond to you, who cares? It's like way less personal than a text message, way, way less personal than calling them and like triple less like difficult than actually having a, a person to person conversation. But you kind of want to keep in mind if you were having an in-person conversation, what would you say? Don't say something weird because you're behind a computer screen, which is what so many people do on Facebook. Say something as if you were really like face to face with her when you're communicating with her. And again, if you guys need a script to send out, hello, I'm here. I've been doing this 11 years. I've got one for you. I promise. Um, okay. So that's what you're going to do with the friends of friends. Now you've got to keep up with this, you guys, because you know, you're going to send something to her and then you know, she might get back to you, she might not. The cool thing about Facebook is that people don't usually say no to you 
um, they usually just don't respond. Okay, so I don't know if that's good or bad, um, but they usually won't say anything if they're not going to do it. And then I would say follow up with them three times. So no more than three. Three is like my max. Then I feel like, you know, you might be getting into like the stalker thing. That's just my personal opinion. Um, but so anyway, so go ahead with that. Um, let's see, the cold, the high school friends, old groups. It's the same thing. Go in, search them on Facebook, add them. Obviously, your conversation is going to be a little bit different with them if you knew them at one time. Like, hey girl, how are you? Like, I just happened to run across you on Facebook. I have a friend you, hope you're doing well. Something like that. Um, for the new, so for the referrals and the pre-profiles, when you guys, I just thought about this, you guys. So we're getting all these referrals in the back of the profile cards. When we text them, they've never seen us before, okay? If you go on and actually Facebook message them, like friend them on Facebook and then hope that they accept your friend request, um, and then actually like mess them on Facebook, they can go on to your profile then and realize that you're not a total creeper and that, okay, like sure, I'll get together with you. But it just occurred to me like, yeah, if somebody referred you, they could always go back to the person that, that referred them and say, hey, is Leslie Favors like a normal person because she just reached out to me? But they might not do that. So seeing you on Facebook is like another connection. And then she'll also see that whoever like the hostess of that party was, or the girl that was at that party that gave me their name, they're going to see that we're mutual friends on Facebook and they're going to be like, Oh, okay. That girl's legit. So these are like all great, great, great ideas. Now here's the deal. Okay. When you're doing this on Facebook, your chances of getting someone to say yes, if you don't know them. Okay. If you know them, it's pretty good. If you don't know them, not, not as good, but you have to kind of take the emotion out of it because it's going to be a lot of you know, putting it out there and not getting anything back. So you've got to take the emotion out of it. Just get really used to like, you know, you just open up your phone and you're like scrolling when you're at work, when you're sitting in front of the TV, when you're at lunch, when you're wherever you're at, when you've got a few extra minutes, scroll through your Facebook and, and see on your messages, like who's responding, who's in, who's out, like, like how's that working? And so you can really keep up with this very easily but it's also super helpful to make a list, okay? So once you like friend these people and they friend request you back, maybe at that present moment, you don't need any more people to work with. Maybe you have a bunch of leads. Maybe you've been out rocking your business and you've been doing parties and having appointments and all that. Um, and so you're like good to go. If that's the case, then you don't even need these lists. Like you can have these lists of people that you're creating in a notebook, I would suggest. So you keep track of them more online, somewhere where you're saving it. Um, but if you feel like, hey, I'm not sure who to work with this week, or I'm out of people, and I'm just kind of like having a brain loss of who I could work with, grab that list out, and that's who you're going to go to, okay? So it helps you to never feel like you're out of people. You have like, if you have a thousand friends on Facebook, hello, you got like a million people that you could potentially be reaching out to uh, with this, okay? So I'm going to keep moving because I am, I've got like 10 minutes here and I want to get through a bit more. Um, really quickly, I'm going to unmute y'all. Um, I'm going to take two questions. So if anybody has questions, can you guys throw them out to me right now? Anybody have questions? Two. Hi, Jen. How are you? <laughs> She's waving to me. Anybody questions? You guys are just like su such good learners. Anybody going to do this? Nobody's even shaking their head yet, so I'm not sure. <laughs> Are you totally freaked out by this? <laughs> I'm getting like just laughs. So I'm going to take that as you love it and you're totally going to do it. <laughs> That's what I'm taking this as. Okay, so we're going to go on to um, the next thing, which is going to be ways to keep your customers loyal to you and keep them coming back to you over and over and over again. And if I'm being 100% honest with you guys, this is not my forte in the business. I have had to learn how to do this. And I feel like I'm learning really fast recently um, because I've been getting so many more reorders and keeping my customers and they seem to be really happy. So that's cool. So here are some tips for you guys. If you've been in the business for a long time, some of these are gonna be like, yes, I could tell you that in my sleep. And others of you are gonna be like, oh, that's a good idea because you're new. So I'm gonna give you guys eight ideas right now for keeping your customers ordering from you forever, okay? Here's my first tip, all right? So once you guys are out, you had an appointment with this new girl, you just met them, you've got to follow the two plus two plus two rule, okay? So the first two stands for two days. So two days after you get product into her hands, 
you want to follow up with her. And y'all, this is so important. When I buy something from somewhere or from someone, after I've used it for two days, I know if I love it or not, or if I have questions or if I'm frustrated about it, I usually know within about two days. So it's really important to follow up with them. And a follow up just looks like a text message that says, hey girl, like how's your new product working? Any questions or concerns? That's it. Like if, and you can even say, if you're happy with it, cool. You don't even have to get back to me. You just want to check in and make sure everything's okay. At that point, she's going to be like, yeah, everything is great. Or she's going to be like, I don't know, like my skin seems to be breaking out or it's too oily or it's too moisturizing or the color isn't exactly what I thought it was going to be. If that's the case, you can totally keep her a happy customer by saying, all right, let's exchange it. Let's trade it out for something that's going to work better for you. So it's a win-win because the company will send you a brand new product for free. You don't have to ship the product back to them. Isn't that crazy? For free. They take your word for it. All you need is, I do like to get the product back from my customer, but you need a day code on the product and then you can do a, a return on it. Um, so two weeks is obviously two weeks later. Just check it in again to see how your products are working for you. Kind of the same thing. Um, two months would be, hey girl, like how's that product working? Are you running low on anything? Can I get you anything new? So that's it. Really, really simple. But this follow-up, you guys, is so important. I think a lot of times we're afraid to follow up because we're like, what if they don't like it? <laughs> and that's going to happen sometimes. And that's okay. It's so much better though if you followed up with them to see how they're liking it. So much better if they're not liking it if you followed up than if you just let it slide. Because guess what? If they didn't like it and you didn't follow up with them, they might never buy anything from you again. Okay? So really important. Okay, number two. As soon as you met someone, I already talked about this tonight, add them on Facebook. Okay, if you have an assistant, just tell her that's part of her job description is once she throws a profile card into in touch for you, add, the, add that girl on Facebook because you want to be in front of her. Okay, as much as you can be in front of her. So really important. And then you can add her to your Facebook group of customers and all that too. Okay, tip number three. Send a birthday postcard and offer them 10 to 20% off during their birthday month, okay? So this is something I've been doing for probably the past like four years, I want to say. Um, and you know, honestly, I don't get a ton of orders from it. I probably get like two or three birthday customers order every month from this. But again, it's me getting in front of them. And I'll follow up with them. So like I sent out the birthday postcard at the beginning of the month, regardless of what day their birthday is. Let me see if I can find this. Ta-da, here it is. So it says, it's upside down, happy birthday. I hope you have a fabulous day. In honor of your birthday, please enjoy 15% off all orders placed with me this month. Enjoy. Your Mary Kay girl, Leslie Fabris, all my contact info is at the bottom. I could legit send this to you and you can just like blank out my stuff and put your own stuff in there if you want. I'm cool with that. I like postcards because they're cheaper to mail. Um, and then I'm going to follow up with her at the end of the month. So I'm going to send that at the beginning of the month, follow up with her at the end of the month by text message and just say, hey girl, did you get my postcard? Happy birthday. Hope you had a great one. Let me know if you want anything at that discount. Okay. So I am showing her that I'm interested in her by saying, hey girl, happy birthday. So really cool. Give them a discount. Very good. Number four, and I don't do this, but I'm going to start doing it because I think it's important. So when you mail them product or deliver product to your customers, wrap it in tissue paper. So not even like tape it and all that, just like put it in some tissue paper and put it in an envelope or in the bag to deliver it to her. Um, I can remember that this is so silly, but anybody ever shop at Airy, like American Eagles bra and underwear store? I don't know. At any rate, I buy all my bras there and have for a long time. But they used to do this and they don't anymore. They would have this like spool of ribbon behind the counter and they would like pull off some ribbon and cut it and tie it on your bag. And as stupid as it was, as stupid as it was, I loved that. And it just made my order and my purchase seem so much more personal. And that's what this does. A second thing is to throw a piece of chocolate into their reorder. So good. Women love chocolate. Um, I saw it um, advertised to do like the Dove chocolates. So I thought that, that was great too. So Dove chocolates even. Throw one of those in there because they have like a little message on them when you open them. And they're really good. Like who doesn't love chocolate? I sent out chocolate to a customer a couple weeks ago and she was like, honestly, I think I was more excited about the chocolate than my actual like product. <laughs> I thought that was so cute. So they really do love that. Okay, next is label your product. So if you're new and you don't know what I mean by that. So you can order labels from the company and they look like this. 
you can get pink ones or black ones. I think the pink ones are really fun. So they just say your, you can put whatever you want to on them. I suggest putting your name and especially your website and your phone number on them. But you put these on the back of all of your products so that when your customers in their shower using their cleanser, they see your name on it. So if they want to reorder it, they're like, oh yeah, I didn't buy that at Walmart. I bought that from Leslie. And as, as much as you might think that your customers think about you all the time, they don't. They're like, shoot, who was that lady I got that Mary Kay from? Like they have forgotten about you even though you have not forgotten about that. Okay, so really important. Um, keep in mind that you, the difference in you and them shopping at Mac or Sephora or the drugstore is that you have their colors on file. You have their record on file. When I go, and I'm actually getting my hair done this Thursday, it's horrible right now and kind of embarrassing, um, but I've just been really busy. So I'm getting my hair highlighted um, this week and my hair girl, she knows what color she puts in my hair every time. Cause if I had to go in there and she was like, all right, Leslie, like what color we went with? Like, I don't know anything about hair color. Like B30 last time, do you want to go with like, B59 is how I'd be like, oh, I don't know, just do something that looks good in my hair, you know? So it's our job to kind of keep track of those things and we can't and we do because we have files of their sales ticket. So the fact that we can keep up with that separates us from, you know, the clinic counter. It really, really does. Okay, give them a business card when you're at their appointment. It's a visual reminder and our business cards are always really fun and funky. I love to order just the plain pink ones because it's pink. Like, it's not white with something on it. It's pink. And my business cards, uh, let's see if I can find one of them. I kind of want the non-traditional routes. I don't think I have any in this box right here. Well, they're in a box somewhere. But I want a non-traditional route, and I put a picture of myself on there that's kind of funky, and I'm holding coffee. So it doesn't look like your traditional business card at all. Like, it, it looks really fun. Um, but, you know, again, it's like if your business card looks a little bit different, they're going to keep it. So, and maybe throw it on their refrigerator, which is really cool. Okay, I'm almost done. Number seven is the PCP program. So this would be sending them a catalog. It costs 70 cents a mailer to do this. You can mail as many or as few as you want. FYI, the deadline to do this this quarter is tomorrow, tomorrow midnight. Enroll your customers, PCP program. It's under business tools on Mary Kate and Touch. They're gonna get this catalog. You guys, the new Miracle Sets in here, which I'm gonna show to you in one second. And it has this like crazy fold out on it. So it looks like this, like it's crazy. It's really big. Um, but they're gonna get this, the new sample and this catalog of the look is the new eye cream in the Miracle Set. So really cool. Um, 70 cents a mailer, totally, totally worth doing. And then once that catalog mails, you wanna follow up with them. So send a text, did you get your catalog in the mail? Is there anything you're running low on or need, okay? So all really important stuff. Number eight, the last thing is a free gift with purchase, okay? I always send my customers a free gift of purchase if they spend at least $40 in one order. And many times I've had girls spend 30 and I've said to them, Hey girl, you're at 30. You're really close to 40. If you spend 40, you get a free gift of purchase. And this is usually what I send them is just like a little mini eye makeup remover. It's $2 and I order these labels or bought them at seminar or somewhere. And it just says, this is your free gift of purchase. And then I like stick it on there. So they know like I got this for them for free. I gave it to them for free. So $2 a piece. Um, it's worth it. If they're going to order 30, I boost them up to 40. And now I'm going to make like what three or four extra bucks because I threw this in there. Um, so those are my eight ideas and that's it. So I just taught you guys an awesome new way to get customers, new leads and how to keep them forever. And now we're going to talk about the miracle set. So you guys, I got the miracle set in the mail this last week and I'm going to try to like show this to you. Um, the company sent us this cool thing. I think I sent you guys a picture of it, but like a little stand for it to go on. But I want to show you guys, so I'm going to get the back of my hand wet. I'm going to show you guys the cleanser first, okay? I'm going to read through these as I do them. These are good descriptions. They're in the new lookbook. <laughs> okay, so first off is the four-in-one cleanser, okay? So brand new. I've got five minutes, so I'm just going to kind of run through this pretty quickly. Let me introduce you. So it does come in oily to combo or normal to dry. So this is oily combo with... I drop it on the floor. As usual, a purple and a pink, okay? Purple stands for oily combo, pink stands for normal to dry, okay? So you, I like that they do that because it helps the customers. So I'm just gonna get, you literally need a tiny, tiny bit of this in the back of your wrist. This is the oily to combo. It does exactly what our current one does. It suds up. It's not sudsing right now because 
it's, I don't know, I didn't have enough water to it, I don't think. But you just need a teeny, teeny, tiny bit of it. It smells really good, but it's fragrance-free. It kind of smells like the Time Wise Repair Cleanser if you guys have used that. Um, so wipe that off. Fragrance-free, has a scent to it. It's something all natural in there that's got a scent, but it's like super pleasant scent. That's the oily to combo, clear, just like the current one. The normal to dry one is a creepy cleanser, okay? Now both of these, this is actually though, it's a four in one cleanser. So our current Miracle Set is a three in one cleanser, four, so that's awesome. So here's the four things. It removes complexion dulling impurities. Second thing, leaves skin feeling clean. That's the cleansing part. Three, it exfoliates. And four, your skin looks brighter from using it. So lots of awesome things in that. Okay, next, and this is broken down again into, actually the first three steps are broken into normal to dry or oily to combo. So this is gonna be your moisturizer. Now here's the deal. I freaked out a little bit because I saw this moisturizer and it's smaller. It's like almost half as small as our current moisturizer. And it's got the moisturizer, and the day cream all in one, okay? So I was like, oh my gosh, this is so much smaller, but here's the deal. A tiny, tiny bit, like I'm talking a fourth as much moisturizer as you would normally use. Like, let me show you this. So I just use like a teeny, teeny, tiny bit and see how it spreads, like it's intense. Like you just need so little. Every time I use it, I'm like, I use too much again. I didn't need that much, but it has the SPF in it. It smells amazing. This is what it does. So this moisture replenishing cream helps delay visible signs of skin aging. It also provides broad spectrum UVA and UVB protection. It re-energizes skin's natural youthful gl glow and helps improve the look of fine lines and wrinkles. It also helps even the look of skin tone and skin looks more vibrant throughout the day. It moisturizes for 12 hours. So awesome. Next is the night cream. I'm like, the night cream looks very much just like a day cream. And again, you need so little of it. So the night cream, I got like two minutes and 30 seconds. I'm rocking this. Okay. So night cream, again, it just all smells so good, but it's all fragrance free. So not, no fragrance added to it. This effective moisture replenishing cream re-energizes skin's natural youthful glow and helps reduce the look of fine lines and wrinkles. Applied at night, it goes to work while skin is most able to rebuild its reserves. Awake to skin that looks healthier, rested, and more radiant, this non-greasy cream moisturizes for 12 hours. Okay, last product is going to be your eye cream. And the eye cream, like I said, is the sample that's going to come in the catalog um, this month. And it's actually a little bit thinner than our firming eye cream, um, but I feel like it's a similar size. It's like a decent size for an eye cream. Um, so this eye cream helps improve multiple visible signs of aging and fatigue, including the appearance of dark circles, under eye puffiness, fine lines, and wrinkles. So it does a lot. Skin looks firmer as this quick absorbing cream immediately moisturizes and brightens the eye area. Plus it maintains moisture in the eye area for 12 hours. You'll see overall improvement in your skin's appearance for a more youthful, rested look. So there you have it. New Miracle Set 3D, Time Wise Miracle Set 3D. It's awesome. My skin, the number one thing I've noticed about this is that my skin is so much softer from using it. So it just feels absolutely amazing. The retail price on this is $110 when you order it all together in a set. It's $14 more if you order it individual items. The cool thing about it is our current Miracle Set was $95. This one's $110, but it comes with an eye cream already in it and it's less steps, so that's awesome. So it's just a cleanser, one day product, one night product, and an eye cream, okay? So any questions we have, like, we're probably gonna cut off here in like any second, but anybody have questions? No, we've got a quiet group on tonight. Everybody must be tired. <laughs> All right, well, I'm bringing these, oh, was someone gonna say something? I'll be bringing these around to meetings this month. So make sure you all show up and you'll get to try it out. And someone's going to get to win, oh, the biocellulose mask, you guys, is buy one, get one, half off now on Mary Kay and Touch until the end of the month. 